Joe Rogan, the rebel white guy who, who uh, tries to give both sides the story. Most successful podcaster probably ever. Maybe the most successful broadcaster. Maybe, he may be yeah. more successful than Rush. Phenomenally, phenomenally successful. He has gotten into a tiff with Neil Young because Neil Young decided that Spotify, by allowing Joe Rogan to have his podcast on Spotify, was spreading COVID misinformation. And so Neil Young issued an ultimatum saying you can either have Joe Rogan or you can have me. And Spotify said, we will take Joe Rogan. <laughs> so talk to me about this. I think it's, I think it's a <laughs> hilarious controversy. Well, to be fair, I don't even know that you can call it a tiff with Neil Young because Joe Rogan has never said one mean word or anything about Neil Actually, Young. Actually, he loves Young Neil Young. Just Neil got mad comments, at him for he, no reason. The comments <laughs> Rogan just issued, I'm going to read some of them here in a minute. He talked about how much he loved Neil <laughs> Young and how Neil Young's a great guy. Right, but it's just it's just this continual, uh, you know, Neil Young t- joining in whatever movement of the of the moment saying yeah, shut down the opposite yeah the shut down the opposition movement. and i'm going to use what I, the the narrative of yeah. misinformation to beat my opposition over the head yeah yeah it's such a sellout from a a 60s rocker they were supposed exactly. to be anti-establishment now he's nothing but Rocking a shill the for the world, establishment you know? that's what he's doing yeah. over here yeah no and now now neil young how very uncool of him <laughs> so it, yeah and then uh of course Joni mitchell who uh you know young people also so there's a really funny moment earlier in the show where or not earlier in the show earlier in the day where we were in our newsroom discussing this <laughs> and um, we were saying hey so you know let's talk about the stuff going on with rogan and somebody in the room said well what's going on with rogan we said well you know neil young said he's pulling his music and somebody in the, in the room said, okay well all right that's a big deal who's neil young <laughs> <laughs> and my my favorite meme in all of this has been the one that uh, has a picture of Neil Young and it says when you're so woke that you cancel yourself because <laughs> that's what Young was doing. He's saying exactly. I don't want my music out there so I'm going to cancel my music because I don't like Rogan. Rogan issued a response today, though, that was absolutely fantastic. I, I think it was actually last night uh, that was terrific. And uh, of course, the I mean, useless birdcage lining media out there uh, reported it as Rogan apologizing. Uh, Rogan really didn't apologize. There was an apology at the end where he essentially said like, well, I'm sorry, this has been such a big mess. But there was no, I'm sorry that I've had people on who disagree with the establishment. He didn't say, I'm sorry, Neil Young. (laughs) Yeah, and he certainly didn't say that. Um, What he did say, I'll paraphrase, Rogan said that there were two episodes in particular that people had problems with one with Dr. Peter McCullough and one with Dr. Robert Malone. McCullough is a cardiologist and the most published physician in his field in history. Dr. Malone owns nine patents on the creation of MRNA vax technology and is at least partially responsible for the creation of the technology that led to the MRNA vaccines. Um, those are the two episodes that most people have a problem with. And when you just listen to the credentialing there, people don't have a problem. People don't have a problem that those guys were on the air. People have a, have a problem that those podcasts disagreed with the establishment narrative. Right. That's the issue. And That's Joe, right. thankfully, is sticking to his guns and saying, you know, look, I try to get all sides out there. And that's why he is so much more popular than Brian Stelter. Exactly. He has 11 million listeners per episode and about four to five episodes a week. He is far and away blowing like everyone else out of the water. If you look at some of the biggest musicians, you got like Adele at like 60 million or something like that. I mean, Joe Rogan is just phenomenally popular. And I just want to tell people there's a reason. There is a reason. (laughs) Imagine if Rogan did a show every day that was an hour long and did it, I don't know, at six in the evening and talked with newsmakers. I would watch that show every day. And that's what the news is supposed to be. And you'd walk away not necessarily knowing what side Joe's on, uh, and, and sometimes, you know, but you would walk away way better informed than you do now. Right. If you're watching Brian yeah. Seltzer, you learn nothing. If you're watching Brian, yeah, nothing. <laughs> 